Hey guys, I am Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, I wanted to get on here real quick today and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the research that I'm doing on 5G. And I happened to stumble upon, actually didn't stumble upon it, it showed up in my feed, Marquez Brown, Brownlee, MKBHD, his take on 5G. He, he's been experiencing COVID, my heart goes out to him. Glad he's uh, okay and he's doing well and he's recovering. But I wanted to talk about his take on 5G because I really do believe he is spot on here. And let me tell you why. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is reliability. And I know Marquez talked a little bit about this. He said he did some tests himself, right? He went out and he checked towers and he saw how fast the speeds are if you're next to the tower. But the minute you move away from that, that the, 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 the the speeds degrade. That is something I know a lot of people are going to experience and have experienced already. I experienced some of that my, myself in the area that I'm in. I'll get to ultra wide band and I'll be able to have lightning fast speeds, but only for a short period of time. And then it switches back over to the lower band 5G. And that's, that's the issue right now. The issue is 5G isn't very mature yet. And a lot of the claims that 5G is, is offering is, is, something that they're saying they're going to offer and, and something that you should have the ability to leverage isn't available to the masses. It's just not there. And if you're looking at the home internet solution, now I'll post a link to that uh, video as well on, on, this, on this channel here that I've talked about. The home internet solution isn't giving you the speeds that you would get if you were using your cell phone right next to a tower. That's something that isn't there yet and it won't be there for quite some time. This is a very immature product and it's something that people need to understand that as it matures it's going to get better but currently we're still dealing with a lot of the lower band of 5g and that lower band is no better than and in some cases some would argue worse than 4g or lte because you have to switch between technologies it requires a lot of battery power and things like that that is something you need to be aware of. That is something you need to understand that just because it's called 5G and just because it's this newer thing that it's not all what it's cracked up to be. Okay, the next thing I wanna really talk about is this massive push for people to use it, right? 5G is so new still, but everyone is being pushed to use it. And the reason I believe that that is the case is so that they can garner more of a case to the government and to other folks to give them money to push the infrastructure. The infrastructure of 5G is still in its infancy, and I already talked about that. And Marquez talks a lot about that in what he was saying, but 5G is just not there yet. Right now, you need to understand that your best option is to just hang on, right? It's to stay in a plan and to stay in a configuration that puts you in a place where you're able to move to 5G and take advantage of 5G when it actually matures. And that's what I'm really out to, t to help you understand is that, you know what, as we go through this, as you research it, as you look at the different solutions out there, don't just buy into the hype. Don't look at everybody's offerings and say, man, I gotta get this free iPhone, or I gotta do home internet, or I gotta do this other thing that 5G is promising. Those promises are half-baked. They're not fully baked yet. So understand that if you wanna do those things, I'm not discouraging you from, from getting home internet. I'm just saying, let's compare it to what other options are out there and make sure that those options are ones that you've considered and you can compare against 5G and say, this one's better than this one. That is what you need to do in order to stay ahead. That's, that's what you need to do in order to be savvy in business and in understanding what it is that is really offering, being offered to you at this time because I would hate anyone to go into this thinking that these promises that 5G offers, the quality of service, the low latency, the fact that it's super fast and you can have it everywhere, that isn't something that you should just buy into without actually seeing it. And so I want you to understand that it's not there yet. You won't see it unless you're right next to the tower or whatever, right? Go check out Marquez's video. It's a really great video, I loved it. He talks about 5G right near the end of the video. Um, would love it if you watched the whole thing. I actually agree with a lot of his take in this in this video. He, he calls it his take. Love that video, and I, I just wanted to 
to highlight that here too. I'm working on something really big right now. I actually had something happen to me and I don't want to get into it in this video, but I will definitely get into it on the next video and I want you to really check this out because it's going to be amazing what happened. You, you won't believe it. Um, and I'm going to do my best to explain every aspect of this so that you have a good understanding of that as well. But till next time, this is uh, Ken Ross here. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please know I'm out there doing the best I can to provide you some quality content here on relevant topics that I love and, and hopefully topics that you can suggest to me in the comments section below. Please do that. I love researching business topics for people. I love helping uh, business owners out, um, especially with their expenses, but ultimately anything in business that I can research and, and, and gain more knowledge on, I'm looking for. And 5G is one of those areas I feel like oh, I could really talk a lot about. I could, I could probably release a, a video every, every day talking about 5G because I'm seeing so many different things. But that being said, please put in the comments section below topics you would love to hear uh, from me about, things I can do research on. Um, tell your friends about this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And visit my website. I am KenRoss.com. And until I see you next time, I'll see you around.